The guys behind the camera remind me all the time they want to get paid. So please subscribe and PayPal. Bruce Party is the executive director of Rights Pro, the law professor. He joins me now because I want to get your idea, ideas as an educator about what a lot of parents are starting to hear about as the school board, as the school starts, is that the kids may not be taught reading, writing, and arithmetic so much as new genders. And you know, they have nine-year-old kids being confused as heck, going to school, being taught by teachers. Well, it could be this, it could be that. You want to change your clothes? What's going? How did that get hold? And what's yeah, well, not not even confused, but some of them are actually undergoing transitioning, and and it seems insane. Oh yes, right. Yes, I mean, and 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 the way I think to get our heads around this is to understand that there are at least two larger things going on. The first one is this social justice critical theory stuff, which has taken over institutions, including school boards, including governments and curriculum and teachers unions and so on. And so this is an outgrowth of the idea of protecting the oppressed. The school boards and their administrators often now think that their role is to protect children from their parents. In other words, children are an oppressed class that need to be rescued. I'll put it to you this way, an 11 year old has no idea whether they should be transgendered or what their sex is. They, most of them don't even know what's going on with well, that. Well, of so course, why of are course, they getting into that? Because, but, but it's an outgrowth of the ideology. And, and that ideology combines with another thing that's coming online now, which is the ideas of transgenderism. I'm uh, sorry, uh, transhumanism. Yeah. Transhumanism is this idea that we should make the world in our own image. And it doesn't matter what we were to start with. So if you say, well, my son was born a boy, that's, that's an outrage to a transhumanist because you're saying that biology is destiny. They don't believe that. They believe everything should be made by the How human hand. How do we hand. get captive to this 0.00001% of the population? Well, remember, public education is public. It's controlled by government. Government gives it orders. And government becomes captured by people who have these interests. I thought government wanted to be elected and re-elected. So therefore, they want the majority to agree with them. Well, you see what happens. So governments give directives to do a certain thing, but the directives are not enforceable, and the school boards say, no, we're not doing that. So there are much more powerful interests who are intent on doing what they're doing in spite of the fact that as a formal matter, you're quite right, as a formal matter, government controls it, but as a practical matter, at the moment, they don't. So, Bruce, so it's, it sounds like you know, the population, normal people, <laughs> are being almost driven to the cliff. Yes. And saying, push almost pushed over. In fact, if not pushed over. So the thing to do, I guess, is when you're on the edge of the cliff, push back. And, and especially parents. Parents are the ones who have to say, look, this, this child is my child, not yours. You are not to act in my place, and you will tell me what's going on, and I will give consent or not. It's not the Soviet Union as it used to be. Bruce Party, thanks very much. Three minutes. Liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before. So let's keep this discussion on the air. PayPal, write a check, and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you. And ask your friends, please subscribe. It's important to keep this on the air. And thank you.